Okay, day 116, 116 days in a row of walking at least one mile. Let me start the timer here. Get going. It's a kind of a very aqua house. Super aqua. This is a Rivian. an old it's a 70s truck Dodge Ram Railroad tracks. Sometimes a train comes through about this time. If it does, I'll see if I can record it. It's a Maserati. I didn't even recognize it. It's like a sedan, a family car. Gorgeous Bougainvillea. Loves the sunshine. So go up one more street. Okay. 
very short streets. Guess I could go up and come back down one. I don't know. I'm gonna go one more, two more or something. Some nice pink roses there. I don't know, I'm just kind of walking up this way today. I feel like it's a unique cactus, looks like it's right out of a cartoon. Interesting. I'm going to walk up to these railroad tracks to this end of this street and turn around, I guess. house is right at the end of a street and on the railroad tracks. and brown house and it's again a goldenrod color I seem to see on a daily basis yeah. kind of a neat looking house so go up here and look at this old van it's from the early 60s I'd say Still no train. It's two old cars. This is an Impala, I think. An old van, an old, what's it say? Falcon van, Ford Falcon. All right, we'll look at the van first, then we'll look at the Chevrolet. It's an Impala. I've definitely seen better days, club wagon got to be early 60s early 60s I don't know 
There's a Chevrolet Impala, I'm sure. Yep. Custom. I don't know, late 60s, early 70s? Oh, they got old truck, too. Chevrolet 3100. That almost looks like early 60s, maybe late 50s. Early 60s? Late 50s? I don't know. I can't see the front. I guess I could I got a dog. I better not. They probably don't want me in their driveway. Yeah, I don't guess we're going to see the front of either car. Doesn't look like they're driven much. Kind of interesting. <clears throat> it always comes in and walk up the street. Go look at this orange house. more if I wanted but I don't know, wait for the train but I don't know when the train's coming I don't think I've ever been up this street it's a nice well kept house it's kind of unusual colors maybe they were ahead of the game when they went goldenrod very rustic. Interesting. Here's a very some kind of a maroonish wine colored house. It's another old van from the 70s. Doesn't look like it's driven much either. Chevrolet. wine color I guess maroon I don't know I don't know what color you color this call this house this house might be older than any of the houses oh, another car how you doing I don't know the house looks like it's from the 50s. Maybe older than that. Because it's bigger. Might be from the 40s. 30s. Because the 50s and 60s, the houses were much smaller. I'm not sure. There you go on the other side of the street. Ooh. There's a nice GT, I assume it's a Mustang, but who knows? I'm not gonna find out either. It might just be a Ford GT if that's such a thing. It doesn't have the Mustang logo. But I don't know. I don't know if uh, there's such a thing as a Ford GT. There might be. I just don't really know. Goodness, there's a lot of cars on this street. Another house that kind of looks like it's older too. Maybe it's from the 40s or 30s. I don't know. Oh, may not be. Might be. I don't know. It's really hard to tell. Maybe it's not that old. I don't know. See, these houses look like they're from the 60s. It's a one-story, two-bedroom. That house was so much bigger. Those last two houses. I don't know.
I have walked up that street on the other side before. Okay, walk down there. I'm never gonna get back if I do that. Better walk this way. Looking how much a haircut was in there, thirty-five dollars. Forty dollars a tip. I should start cutting my own hair at home. Outrageous. Walk down one more street and back. I got a real life basketball goal there. Goodness, how do they shoot more than a free throw? A real life goal. Somebody gave it to him or something. Keep waiting for this train to go by when I'm walking, but it never does. So it goes by once a day between like Noon and two. It's a car. Old car. It's a Datsun. Can't really see it for the trash cans. It is a Datsun 1600. I think it's from the 60s. It's got that uh, circle mirror in the back, like the 57 Thunderbird. It said there was a. Or they put that in. They said there was a blind spot the year before when it didn't have it so they put it in next year I think they only had it for one year maybe two they only had that may have been only the 57 I think it was a 57 57 Thunderbird I think oh to be honest I'm not really 100% sure I'm gonna walk home back home through the railroad tracks and see if a train comes. This must have been here a long time. They got a lot of big trees. Nice house. Don't know what year. Be so quiet, I'm sure Sima. Are you the runner? Uh, I don't know, I don't think so. Who, who are you? I just walk around a lot. Oh, you just walk around. Yeah. There's, a, there's like a run in Dave, a guy named Run in Dave. Oh, really? Yeah. No, that's not me. <laughs> We've had um, PIs from the, the um, Metro? From Metro lately, so I'm like, oh. Uh, yeah, I'm way, I live on Ruxton. Um, right, our complex is right by the. Oh, you're it's on the 23rd, 23rd, I think. Yeah, I hope. You know, they 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 are so much against us on this thing. It's the flyers, that thing right there? yeah. They uh, my one of the one of the 
one of my neighbors is an attorney. Jennifer. You know Jennifer. Oh, yeah. yeah, she's going to file class action if they go it's through this. They're not afraid. They're not afraid. They're not afraid. I mean, they're staunch. They're, they went full forward ahead with this thing right here, you know. Yeah. And it's going to be, get to the meeting, so it's, it's going to be right on top of houses. But they don't, you know, what they did last month. They they moved it from one day to the next day, and then they pushed it to the end of the they meeting. Didn't even get the announcement. Like they put flyers on gates. Yeah. People didn't get. I saw a guy handing out flyers on a on the door after the Thursday meeting was over. They don't. They don't care. They're gonna, they want They're going to. Their mind is set that they're going to do what they want to do. We can't think that way. We have to show up, and we have to fuck Did them you up. Tell me an the 710 freeway widening project, they uh -huh. were going to do it. The yeah. whole neighborhood showed up and they canceled the whole Really? Day. I wish we could get about 500 people to show up. Come, get your people to show up. You have to. Like, don't shake your head. Come. I know, but I, we've got people that literally live like, you know, like these houses. Yeah. And they're, because I would, we've, if we've told them once, we've told them a hundred times. Yeah. And they, for, you know, it's just like, in, we have one, one family that just moved in like a year or two ago. And I'm like, look, this train is going to go by every three to five minutes, 20 hours a day. Yep. 20 hours a day. I just find her, there's a, a house that a woman who owns the house kicked out her tenants and she's moving in. Uh -huh. And I called her about it. She thought I was a scam artist. Oh she my went, gosh. Well, and like, it's happening. I did ask for money though. Cause she was like, I was like, come to the needy. She was like, oh, I can't. I live in Ohio. I was like, well, then donate. And then she was like, oh. I, listen, I'm all for it. We got, we, you know, we have, we have some, like at the last meeting, you know, Jennifer came with another one of our neighbors, but, yeah. you know, they had a hundred people on cold. They wouldn't let speak. They wouldn't let us speak. Yeah, exactly. I actually went to the metro meeting the next day, the, that, that Thursday. second day. Oh, the second day? Yeah. Uh, so it was Wednesday, Thursday, yeah. and then the next, then we didn't get to talk to those two. Yeah. I went in person the next week. Oh, you did? Off Are you serious? I actually spoke to her in a different item because I was like, I had my kid. I had to pick up my other kid. Oh, my gosh. Kid. It is. Yeah. It is, but I don't. I mean, listen. I'm going to do everything I can, but I, I don't know. I mean, maybe the. I don't know. Maybe no, the. I loved how Chelsea put it the other day. She said, "I'll do everything I can, and when the decision is made, the decision is made. But then on the 24th, I don't feel that I should have done something extra yeah. because there was nothing else that I, I that I could put in." Prior to the 20th. Like, let me let me know. ask you this, if you know, because this is a question I would like. Oh no, there's nobody behind you. Uh, who is the person that's making the decision to recommend the row? Um, it's, so it's the who the board of directors specifically. Um, so th this is what I keep saying. So I have recently realized that the board of directors is 13 people to supervisors. Yeah. City or the metro staff work for them. So like the metro staff are the people who are making these recommendations and then bringing it to the board. Staff is the one doing the work. The metro people are the ones that are like getting the so, getting the information. So, yeah. so what I tried to say, like, if you follow, do you follow my Instagram? No. Okay, it's Lawndale Gnome King. Just I'll, I'll take one. Yeah. There is. Um, so they did a, a very recent video I did about the graves there. Yes. So in their video, they say there is no graves or there's no bodies on the road. And I went to Jay's house. I videoed where they dug, and then I videoed where the graves are. I'm like, that is impossible for you to determine. So what else are they lying about? What else is sitting next to the staff? So they're, the staff is reading these things to the Metro Board, and the Metro Board, they're going, oh yeah, but if that's incorrect information... Like, what else is incorrect? Like, what else yeah. is incorrect? I know. I, I agree with you. I mean, what's your, Chelsea? I'm Chelsea. I'm Doug. That's, that's yeah. my house. Oh, this is your house. Yeah, yeah. I love your house. You <laughs> know, I, I just record a lot of interesting things I see when I walk. So, but your house, what year is that? 52. I was going to say that has to be older because it's so much bigger and you have so much great uh, landscaping and, and everything. The landscaping is the best part. Yeah. If you look at the house next door, uh -huh. they were identical houses at one point. Really? Yeah. Well, it's beautiful. Thank yeah. You. I'm glad you stopped me though because, uh, well, you know. Well, I saw your camera. We saw. Yeah. I'll show you what happened yesterday. Because, you know, if you follow the Instagram, you'll see all this stuff. Uh huh. Check out these sketchy mofos. Oh, these are, these are the people you think were, were walking around doing the... Yeah, they were carrying, um, they were carrying cameras and then when people were like, Hey, what you up to? They, they disappear just, or whatever. Yeah, they jumped in their cars and skedaddled. It's like a men in black type yeah, of thing. Yeah, so look huh? at this guy. He's got like a legitimate camera. Oh, yeah. And he was pa taking pictures of the trees. And I had so many neighbors Instagram me being like, Who are these guys? Sketchy. Isn't that sketchy? So yeah. your camera was like, what 
Oh, yeah, you're going to get another one. Yeah. No, I just I just have a walk around, do a YouTube of all, most, a lot of cars, some houses, some dogs, you know, just. Do, do something yeah. on this. Yeah. No, I, you know, I've talked about it on here. Nobody watches my channel. But <laughs> well, send it. Just text or message yeah. me on Instagram and yeah. I'll, I'll post it. But yeah. Just bully your neighbors into giving their telephone. I try to. The project, the like. I mean, I made it so clear. How can you, you know, and, and then, okay, so did you come when they had the walk? Walk? Okay. Yeah. So there uh, were hundreds of us there. Yeah. But with the meeting, there's not hundred. there's not. They can't because it's on Thursday. At midday, time. I know. They do, that's on purpose. They do it on purpose. It's absolutely on purpose. I mean, they're dead set on doing what they want to do. I just want to know well, that's why we what we can't us find here. out is who, there's someone there, or one or two or three, that's the main decision maker. Georgia Sheridan. That's the Georgia person? Sheridan. She's, She's the, the one recommending the row? Mm -hmm. well, on, they've changed and, it to hybrid row now. And what is, yeah, because they want to go up. But what, what is their main argument to have it, the row? Like, what is it? They own the property. They, because they own the property. And that's the main deal. That's the main argument, yeah. That's the only, and they've owned it since 93. Right. Yeah, I knew they did, but it's because, you know, on Hawthorne, they used to have the trolleys go through. Exactly. So there's, there, you know, there's, there's precedent, precedent for, yeah, exactly. That's what they're trying to say. Yeah. And like. And it's look, commercial. It's commercial. It's safer. Yes. It's safer for. That's a, it's safer for the passengers Take as well. Everybody. I know, yeah. and then they can, you know, they they would in, in, they would give an uh, infusion of activity to the businesses there. Here, Absolutely. I, I tell you, up until about I don't know, maybe I don't know, six eight six months a year ago, I was unaware that really how unsafe this is right here. I didn't know you could walk right on top right of it. There. been like a hundred years or something yeah, probably it's like 120 years or something like that. yeah i mean i just didn't know there were no fairy i mean in dogs exactly. cats my dog was killed by the train that's why i got started on, on all this stuff he was literally he headed by the train he went under the train his head flew out and it landed by my feet God. and that's why that's why i got all this shit that's why i started all it I, I, it's just yeah because i mean that's it's so unsafe and if they're going to move the freight train closer and put a walking path within five they're insane feet, like I, so I talked to those engineers when we did the walking thing because everybody broke off and I stayed back and talked to the engineers. And I, you know, just around here and if you walk down there more, I said, look, I said, there's, it's going to be, you know, damn near impossible. You say you own all this property, but I said, you're going to put two, you know, two ton tr more trams. And I said, you are going to be right at their door. They're going to be within five feet of within, that That's side. what I said. They can't walk. And he said, well, I said, there's no way you're telling me that they said the property lines are, you know, we own all these property lines and the houses are built. 15 to 20 feet beyond the property lines. I said, there's no way. He said, well, I can't control if they built their property beyond the property lines. Well, That's those, what he told me. Those guys took those easements back in 52. Oh, so the people gosh. who live in those houses aren't even the people who built on those easements. But, not, like, but, but you're right. It's going to be within, they could almost reach out and touch it. Yeah. How can that possibly so that be safe? Who lives in that house right there. Right here? Yep. Yeah, I went to her house uh -huh. maybe six months ago when I was knocking on doors. Uh -huh. And I had my babe, I had Juno on one side and I had Jackson on the I knocked, and I, I, she doesn't have a front door. It's this weird house. So it took it's me. The, is it the white one or? The second one. one. The second so white one. So one night I was drinking wine on our deck and there was a light in that house. And I was like, huh. fuck yeah, it's my time. <laughs> so like I ran over with my kids. I knocked on that door, which you have to go through. And she was so mad I knocked on her door. But I'm like, I've been trying to get in touch with you. Like, this is what's happening. And I pointed to that tree with the X on it right there. Yeah. I told her what's going on. And I said, that's where the train's going to be. What'd she say? She said, well, if that's what, if that, if what you're telling me is true, right. buy my house from me. And I said, no, Why would you want to, oh, they would buy their house from her. And yeah, they said, they're, said, that's not, that's not, that's not what's happening. Yeah, they're, they're not. They're just going to build it there. And she goes, well, I'm from Chicago. I'm used to the LY. And I was like, are you used to it being right there? Every five and minutes, she, 20 so hours a day? On my phone, her name is Valerie, doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> I've had people tell me that. She doesn't don't. care. How do we get other people to care? I know. That's the, that's kind of what I've been up against too. I've like how how can anybody? Oh, and that that X is where the tra train would go to that you yeah. marked over so there. All of the X's are unbelievable. All the will be gone. Yep. I mean that's literally what ten feet, fifteen tops from there. Well, from their yard, it's five feet. It's five feet from right in this section. It's five feet. This side will be okay, but then when, when it hits one seventieth, it's going to be the freight train's going to be within eight feet of houses. Metro train's going to be within five. On this, on right in here, are they going to put the metro on this side or the other side? The metro's going to be on that side. On the other within side. Within five feet, there's two, but it's actually going to be raised up here. Because oh, here, oh, here, yeah. So it's going to be raised up, and then it's going to go, go back to grade, and then it's going to go under 170. So 
All right, I'm gonna take your flyer. Nice talking to you guys. To you okay. <laughs> How you doing? Okay, <laughs> right around the corner. I got, I got, I got both of them. So, Good. yeah. Um, if you need any more, we just ordered Spanish and English. Okay. And then we, so in our neighborhood, we've been fundraising a lot. Yeah. The North Redondo neighborhood hasn't. So, like Nikki, who's in charge of that area, is like kind of on this poor me thing, where she's like, oh, she doesn't ask for help. So yeah. So if you guys, if you, if you or like you have my information. See if you could fundraise, and we could get mailers mailed to your whole area too. It's like 500 bucks. Well, I live. I don't. You're probably familiar. I live right next to Breakwater. Yeah, you know, yeah. and there's 187 people there. Oh, I went to Breakwater on Saturday, and only like 12 people showed up to a meeting. Are you kidding? Yep. Yep. It's yeah, just that. It's just the. You know, the people. The the. the what's the word? Ambivalence. Ambivalence. Yeah. Well, apparently you're not supposed to solicit there. Oh really? No. Because I was like, I'll give you flyers. Put it under the door. And they're like, Well, you can't do that. I'm like, just fucking do it. I know. Like, I I mean, in my, you know, it's going to ruin the quality of life. Oh my God, yeah. You know, I can deal with one train going by every day. It doesn't, you know, what's yeah. it? That's two minutes, you know. Yeah. Well, okay, so I also learned, so I've been bugging the NSF. They don't need to run here. They really? just run here so they can keep the running, the rights to run on. It. Really? And I got the, I did a public information request. I got the deed of purchase for them. And the deed of purchase from the Santa Fe Topeka Railroad that is now BNSF, which is now owned by Warren Buffett. So like this is a billionaire's train line that we're funny. So the um, two points is if it gets put here, Metro's pay, like taxpayers are going to pay to rehab Warren Buffett's train. So, so that's like, why they're not replacing the rail company. Uh, they're like, waiting until this like till this changes. But like I forget my first point, but it's just it's just a question. Oh, I know the other thing I was going to tell you. You probably saw this. I mentioned it to Jennifer, which is kind of a moot point. But, you know, to me, it's somewhat, I mean, it's completely flabbergasting. The girl, you probably saw it on the news about maybe two, three weeks ago. It was one of the, one of the ladies on the Metro board. Burger, Burger. You, I was at that meeting. I saw her say that. She, we have confirmation she is voting for no bill. She is. So we have, we have Ara Najarian and Catherine Barger who are bo both voting for no bill. For no bill. But I think, and I think Fox, Inglewood, and I think Holly Mitchell are going to vote for Hawthorne Boulevard just as a token vote to make us happy. Uh -huh. But I think that they're going to work behind closed doors to make sure that the other people vote so that it goes down the road. I wouldn't be surprised. That's what I think is going to happen. I wouldn't be surprised. So I think they're, apparently they're not allowed to confer with more than four people, and there's 13 of them. So like these four confer, these four confer, these like they're gonna yeah. figure it out. They're gonna I mean, figure it to I mean, literally, do you? I don't know anyone. Do you know any any friend neighbor that rides the metro? No, I know no, no one. But no I one. That's like the argument. But you're know, like you're not against public want, transport. You just want it in a place that makes sense. I mean, I don't know. I don't. I just, I mean. You know, the, the Metro board, her name, she won't even ride it. She's scared to ride it. So we're going to send this in the middle of our neighborhood? What, yep. the, what the hell? That helps us a lot. What the hell? She said that a month before they vote. That in a public was... format. So, I mean, and they're not I even... I was there when she said that in the whole room gas. I know they're not even addressing that issue because that's a foregone collusion. We're going to bus all these people into the South Bay yep. and the South Bay doesn't even ride it. So yep. why do, to well, be honest... The, the pro-transit people are all, um, they all work for Northrop Grumman or... Northrop Grumman's got a station. Like, it's right there by North the, the Marine Station. They, they walk a block. Like, why are they fighting for this tourist? I just don't get it. I mean, I've, I've lived in, I 